I've enjoyed the modifications done to my Meepo to make it work as an e-skateboard or an e-scooter. But as mentioned when I initially did the conversion, there was one feature that had to wait. That would be the folding handlebar. Today, I'm going to finally make it easier to take my scooter into the office and store it under my desk. To see how I do this, stay tuned. So today, I'll be taking this version of my Meepo and adding the one feature it's been missing since I built it, the folding handlebar. The two couplers here were my original idea on creating the folding elbow for my handlebar. It would have required some cutting and bending and I wasn't sure if it would work. Luckily with a little research, I found something a little easier to work with. I found this joint on the Form You Fit site through a Google search. The prices are a little expensive, but I couldn't seem to find the 1 and 1 quarter inch size anywhere else. Also, be aware the joints they carry connect either externally, which is the normal way, or internally. The best way to explain the internally connected joint is to show you this drawing from their site. The joint is meant to go inside of the PVC pipe rather than over it. If you've worked with PVC a lot, you will realize this could be a problem because the inside diameter of PVC is not as critical so there could be small differences in dimensions from manufacturer to manufacturer. Luckily, this is not PVC meant to hold water so I think I have a solution for this if it becomes a problem. The last thing I need to consider is that the joint will add some length to the handlebar when it's connected. This diagram gives the dimensions of the different parts of the joint. If needed, I could use this to plan out the reconstruction of the handlebar before ordering the joint. But for such a simple project, I'll just measure the joint when I receive it. I received the two folding joints I ordered from FormuFit. Shipping to the middle of the ocean can take a while, but it's been about a week, so that's actually comparable to Amazon Prime. The first thing I should do is confirm how well the internal joint fits into the PVC. As far as where the joint will be, I'll make a cut somewhere near the bottom, but there's no exact measurement for this, as long as it's the same on both PVC pipes. What you'll need to do if the joint is not a perfect fit inside the PVC pipe is to cut a slit into the end of the pipe for about the length of the joint. If the joint fits too loosely in the pipe, Cut a strip out of the circumference of a tin can and use it as a shim to fill the space between the joint and the pipe. The gap shouldn't be too much, so the thickness of the tin can should be just right as a shim. If the joint fits too tightly, the fix is a little trickier. Push the joint into the pipe as much as possible, hammering it lightly when needed. Make a tourniquet using a stick and a rope or fabric. Then use it to squeeze the pipe until it rests flat against the inserted joint. While holding the tourniquet in place, drill four evenly spaced screw holes, then secure it using number 10 3 quarter inch screws. So looking at the handlebar with the new joint in place, it now has the ability to fold. I now need to keep it locked in place when it's in either the upright or folded position. I'm going to use a T cut in half to make a symmetrical stopper that will mount to the top of the handlebar fold. It's hard to describe exactly how it will look, but it'll be easier once I cut everything to size. I have to bore the T so it will fit as flat as possible over the handlebar and folding joint. This reamer I made in another video will make quick work of this T using my 18 volt 8000 milliamp refurbished DeWalt which after 3 months is finally running out of battery charge. I'll cut this single T in half which will create the two pieces I need to mount over both sides of the handlebar. My cut will be slightly off center but that should still be okay. I'll make this last cut so that when the T is resting on each side of the handlebar they'll meet in the center right at the edge of where I'm cutting. Now that I have the T cut to size, I can better show how it will mount and create a stopper that will prevent the handlebar from folding forward. The stopper still allows the handlebar to fold backwards when being collapsed. To combine the two sides of the stopper, 
I'm going to screw this pipe in the center where they meet. This way, rather than having two separate stoppers working individually, they can both work together to provide one large stopping surface. So this is what the completed stopper looks like. I used six number 10 3 quarter inch screws to hold the two sides together. To mount the stopper, I'm going to align this line that runs through the center of the PVC with the pivot point of the folding joint, which would be the bolt holding it together. The reason for aligning it with the bolt is so when the handlebar is unfolded into its upright position, the stopper will be centered approximately over the folding joint from top to bottom. The stopper will be screwed in place, but because the handlebar has so much leverage on this one piece, I'll also reinforce the screwed in part of the stopper with some hose clamps. So now that the handlebar has something to limit the extent to which it will fold and unfold, I now need to have a way of keeping it in the upright position while I'm riding. The simplest mechanism I could think of for keeping the handlebar upright without getting too technical was to use a hose clamp again. There are thumb screw versions of these hose clamps that would allow you to not have to carry any tools, but after looking at them, I felt the plastic head could snap off if someone with the strength tried to really twist the thumb screw tight. So I decided against getting these. But just to let you know, they are out there if you feel they'd work for you. Instead, I decided to go simple and use a coin on the flathead slot of the normal hose clamp. To initially get the hose clamp on only requires finger tightening, but once you're ready to hold the handlebar in place, you'll need the coin to tighten the hose clamp. So in everyday use, you'd probably have your scooter sitting somewhere like this. From the folded position, I'd lift the handlebar up, lift the hose clamp over the lower portion of the stopper, then tighten the hose clamp using a coin. Do the same thing to the other side and you're ready to go riding. Transporting my Meepo scooter without having to dismantle the handlebar to fit the scooter in my van is so much easier now. Handling and riding feels the same. One thing I have to admit though is that I did get tired of using the quarter as a tool to loosen the hose clamp so I did start using a small socket extension with an 8mm socket that fits the hose clamp hex head. This felt a lot less painful on my fingers. So this is the last of my three video series on turning your electric skateboard into a convertible electric scooter slash skateboard. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.